Hey guys, it's Brenda from Movie River Cradle, and today is day part one that I want to try making candles. Stay tuned. Hey guys. So today I am here to try and make a candle out of this. Um, if you haven't seen my other video, I hauled these Christmas items on clearance. This mug, this beautiful mug, was only a dollar and I want to try and make a DIY candle. Now for a wick, I... I'm inspired to use a crackle wick, which where I live, I cannot get my hands on buying any sort of wicks or any sort of wax, but I have done some research online. <laughs> I'm just realizing that I'm using, um, this, ca this phone has three cameras and <laughs> speaking my hand looks so long. Wow. <laughs> it's not that long anyways <laughs> um so i have been soaking these craft popsicle sticks in olive oil for well you only need to soak them for at least three hours or overnight this has been soaking for about two days <laughs> because i finally have time to soak them so, after you soak these popsicle sticks, oh yeah, I did leak. They've been soaking in this oil. Okay, I'm doing this over the sink. What I am going to do is take them out of the bag and I need to blot them dry, okay? So, I'll do that. I don't want to sit down on my blanket or anything but I will move over I'm thinking I would love a pretty color to start with so I'll be back and I'll go through those and see which wax color I'd like okay I found an extra bag of those popsicle sticks or they're called craft sticks I guess these I got from the dollar store for like they're on sale so I bought a couple of bags and you know what these really do last a long time so I have these um, and here are the sticks that I I noticed this one's a bit crooked I didn't even realize that but um they were soaking in olive oil for a couple of days I completely wiped them down now remember this is not my idea i got this idea from do-it-yourself candles on youtube i just want to try however using scentsy wax is one of my ideas added to i'm going to use crisco for um a wax alternative uh there are youtube tutorials all about crisco wax like candles um, do it yourself emergency candles there's a whole ton of tutorials using Crisco as a wax alternative but I did see a lady on YouTube she only made two videos same person she used these they weren't by Sensi though they were by Glade and she um she just broke them all up and she put them directly into her candle that she wanted to make however sorry about that i had to go i was starting to cough and my nose and used to be blown um and i forgot what i was saying but i want to melt these down along with the crisco and mix them all together and i just want to try and see if it works i will not do a tutorial on it yet i just want to try it but first i want to go through and see what like what color do i have the most of 
in these. And by the way, there is a baby powder scented Scentsy. I think I used all mine. But that would be cool. Um, because I thought that, you know, with my merch, I have a mug in my merch store. And I have one coming. I would love to turn my mug into a candle. If this works, I would totally love to do that. And make it baby powder scent. That would be so cool. If I would turn one of my mugs into a baby powder scented candle. I would love that. Okay, um, I'm really not feeling the color green. Or this color. What scent is that? My dear Watson. Oh, it smells like cologne. It's really nice. Uh, cinnamon vanilla. I I want a fresh, clean, fruity scent. This is my favorite watermelon patch. I'd love to do. Okay. I know you can't hear. Let's see. I could show you what I'm seeing. Okay, throw that in. This is bubble gum. <laughs> My kids love this scent. So, this is one. Oh, cherry limeade. Mm, that smells good too. Okay, I think I'll just stick with the, with the watermelon. I'll see how much that makes. So I'm going to add Crisco to that and see how it works. So um, I'll not show you this process. I am warming up my glue gun so I can hot glue my wick into the base of the mug, which I've also got the idea off of other tutorials. There are a ton of YouTube do-it-yourself tutorials on candles. So, and I'm not... I'm not one. Unless you want to see it. If it works out. I definitely want to try lighting it. And see how it works. So stay tuned guys. Oh I know what I forgot to mention. I was trying to say. And I'm not sure if I said it. But I did look up the ingredients. Of what's in Scentsy Wax. Like what makes up this wax. And it's paraffin wax. And paraffin wax is used in candles. So, mmm, they smell so good. My, this is my favorite, well, one of the top three watermelon patch. Um, that baby powder scent I was talking about is called Newborn Nursery. There. Melt that down along with some. See, the lady that I watched, she crumbled them like that and then poured melted wax over top. And it kind of looked like a some sort of drink or something, like a ice cream, which is interesting. But, um, well, let's move I'll try that. I'll see. So excuse the mess, guys, but this is um, the glue gun I was talking about. I bought that from Walmart many years ago. Um, I did glue in that one there, and excuse, that's my glass and passes, but, and I have to clean that up, but I filled it up as high as I could go, and it smells so good in here. I love the smell so much. When I was melting down the Scentsy Waxes, oh, it smells so nice and fresh and fruity in here, like watermelon. I love it. Um, I did melt down some Costco, so that is mixed with, I mean, Crisco and Waxy scent. So this came out a little crooked, I know that. Um, that one there came out a lot straighter, 
but I glued a little bit down. I cut off a little end, and they also uh, recommend that you jagged, like jagged the end a bit so it burns easier for the first time. So I did that, and I this has to all cool down completely before I light it. So, um, oh, it smells so good. Mmm, I love that smell. Um, that's how high it looks. So, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Um, I'm thinking of putting it into the fridge. I was going to put it outside. I'll show you. As you can see, it's, um, very wintry outside. <laughs> And it's extremely cold. Look how high that edge of the snow is. They plowed this morning because um, uh, we had a storm last night. I was thinking of placing the mug outside to cool down as it'll cool down a lot quicker. But we have a lot of stray animals around like cats mostly cats a few dogs so i thought well maybe i don't want to place the cup outside because i don't want any any birds or we have a lot of birds too like crows and and uh what were they called ravens uh <laughs> we have a lot of those so i think i'll just put the mug into the fridge because i'm a little impatient to try and light it so stay tuned guys I just read that putting a candle in the fridge is not a good idea oh okay then hey guys so I pulled that one out of the fridge it said that putting candles in the fridge is not a good idea so, and I feel like I wish I would have um, cut that wick a bit more. Seems a little high. But, I don't know. I like how it kind of dips down like that. And it smells, I can, mm, smells so pretty. I love it. Um, I'm trying out this one first. And if it works, then I will fill up this one. This is just that popsicle stick soaked in. Ew, my fingernail looks dirty. Well, it's not that dirty. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, this is a candle wick dipped and soaked in vinegar. Oh, what am I saying? So yeah, I'm leaving this one with nothing in it right now. It just has the wood wick right now that I made. And um, we'll see how this one goes when I light it. I won't light it until tomorrow because they say for paraffin wax, it has to cool for 24 hours. And this is mixed, although it is paraffin wax mixed with Crisco shortening so we'll see I would love to do like that one like a blue color so yay can't wait to try it hey guys so a few hours has passed I can't wait until tomorrow I just want to see if yeah, I came to get my lighter, barbecue lighter. I just can't wait to try it. So here goes nothing, guys. I've never done this before. And I'm not going to cut it down even more. And uh, somebody was saying that with these homemade... Let's see if I can feel it. Does it jiggle? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I was just going like this to see if it 
it feels pretty like I can't even push it down and it kind of sank. I don't know. I just want to try it. Mm, it smells. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like my favorite. Okay. Make sure. Let's see. Zoom in. Even more. Let's try it. Somebody was saying it might take a few. Oh, started on the first light. Oh, I forgot to mention that when you have a crackle, like a wood wick, never ever just blow them out. See, I, it's kind of, it's such a huge flame because um, the wick was tall but it should um there's no smoke zero smoke um please when you blow out a candle don't blow too hard because with wood wicks there will be some ash like ashes or well, they're not coals, but maybe coals. Oh, it's starting to die down now. Mmm, I'm starting to smell the wax. The scentsy. Smells really nice. Now, make sure this is... This is cooled down so I can... Oh, I hear a crack. Oh, I hear it crackle. Well, let's see. Oh, it's working. Okay, I'll zoom you out. Oh, I hear it crackle. There's absolutely no smoke. Oh, did you hear that? Okay. I was breathing on it. That was me. I breathed on it. <laughs> See what this... Yeah, it smells like... It just smells like... Um, um, like a match. Now it's smoking because I accidentally burned it out with my breath. I had it... It's because my mouth is like right here. I'm like literally three inches away from this cup. Okay, let's see if I could. But yeah, you don't want to blow it again because if you blow, those ambers will, or embers, will be flying around. You don't want that. I did hear it crackle a couple of times. Let's see. I'm going to try and lift you up higher. Oops. Okay. Make sure that you're clear. Yeah, see how it... Okay. Let's try it again. Let's see for the second one. Oh. See that blow of air, puff of air went. I'm so excited though that it works, you guys. I hear the crackle more. Okay, wait, I'll just make sure this is cool before I put it down. Let's see if I can take 
Wow. Oh, and I have to... Can you hear the crackle? Let's see. Put my microphone close. I'm so happy it works, you guys. So very, very happy. It works. A success is beautiful. I love it. Oh, I can hear it more. <laughs> so wonderful. Yay. I'm so happy, you guys. I am definitely going to make the other one and definitely going to take my channel cup and make a candle out of it. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm so happy. Okay, so what can I use as a snuffer? See that little like the blow of air. I'll try and blow it lightly. Yeah, I just, I did that very, very lightly. So just be very careful. Okay, is out completely. I'll try it one more time. And I gotta use my right hand. Imagine this at night. <laughs> Absolutely no smoke at all or nothing. And it smells wonderful. It smells just like the scentsy. And I can hear it. <laughs> Yay. Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. So guys, I will definitely love to do a tutorial on how I melted the wax and everything. If you want more information, I would gladly share. I am just over the moon thrilled that it works. Yay! Okay, bye guys. Love you. Until next time. Hopefully, hopefully very soon. Bye. Love you. Match your hand, guys.